Hey everyone and welcome to a Replay Retro 5 minute play. We're going back to the Gizmondo here with a look at Pod or Point of Destruction which I believe is a remake of a Commodore 64 game for the Gizmondo. Um, we won't bother looking at any of this, let's go straight into the game. Oh and it starts straight away so we will start the timer there. And you can see you're basically on a grid and you control this little moving turret thing which can go all around the grid and you basically have to try and kill as much stuff that's coming at you as possible you'll see that when you blow stuff up it damages the grid and you will not be able to move on that section of grid until it's repaired a bit like train tracks essentially um, but you can see it does heal as it goes on I think there are power-ups, but I struggle to tell the difference when playing through the viewfinder of what's a power-up and what is a weapon. Ah. Graphically, you know, it, it's nothing amazing. It's not getting the most, maybe, out of the uh, Gizmondo here. But I do like it. It runs very smoothly. And the sound is really good. You do also have a smart bomb activated with one of the shoulder buttons. Ah, bombs! Getting killed before using the smart shoulder button is a problem. That's your smart bomb, there you go. You can, however, if you're not careful, I have uh, You can get trapped, I imagine. Oh, you're kidding me. Rubbish. This is very difficult to play through a viewfinder, I will point that out. Cool music. I do like the time music. Can we choose a level and move up a bit? Can I? No? I have to start from level one. Okay. What's the point in having a choose level if I can't choose level? Or do I later unlock more levels? But yeah, you could get trapped in an area where the grid has been damaged, which would obviously leave you very vulnerable to attack. That's not a problem for me, because I'm rubbish and therefore vulnerable to attack anyway. You can see the enemies can't use the uh, damaged sections of grid either, which can lead to them being trapped, making them easier prey. You can see I've picked up a shield power up here. Don't know how long that lasts for. Maybe it'll last for one hit. Maybe it lasts for a set length of time. Who knows? You probably know, because there's always someone when I do this who knows the rules of every game of, oh, you're playing it wrong. Yawn. I really don't like these ones because they move far too quick. Yay, yeah, picked up a new smart bomb. I do like the voice sampling. There doesn't seem to be any penalty for just holding your fire button down, um, so I would, you know, recommend that. Though I suppose if you were taking, you know, not thinking about where you're placing your shots, then in later levels it would become very easy for you to get trapped uh, in areas where you've damaged the grid. So maybe you do have to be careful. Oh my God! What the heck? What the hell was that? Oh, have I now finished the level? Right, so those waves were part of a level. So I imagine I would now, if this is level two, that was a cool effect, the zoom there. Maybe I would be able to start from level two now if I die. What hit me? I saw nothing. Bloody viewfinder. Ah, there's another row of ships. I bet you all saw that. Oh, getting my ass handed to me. Okay, this level is much more difficult. Maybe if I drop to the bottom level.
What is the power up there? Can I do anything? Yeah, dropping to the bottom was my definitely the better tactic for this level. Oh, damn. See, should have stayed at the bottom. I do like that game over sample. That is really cool. Oh, and that timer is now up. So let's put something. I mean, no one ever wants to put anything in these, do they? There you go. Yeah, I quite like that game. Um, graphically, it's not as impressive as some of the other stuff that we've seen on Gizmondo, although I do like some of the effects in the background. Um, yeah. Not a bad little game. Excellent. See you next time.